there guys and welcome back to another insane final boss progress video so let's start off with cow fight king so i started off by dueling with a friend of mine drive to the max or martin he is pretty much considered one of the best kkers in the game so i decided to do that to just learn the good rotations um, and it's quite fun doing speed kills as well as being good money as well after this then i started doing a few solos i did around 100 solos before kind of deciding that solos weren't the way i was going to get the pet um i didn't have any luck in my solos as well so that kind of put me off i then went to a mass a loot share mass and basically just just tried to get every drop i could despite the fact that in loot share normal drops are just given to the people with the most loot share points pets aren't they're just given to the people who do the most dps per kill so that basically meant as long as i was dpsing hard and doing the right rotations in a loot share mass like lskk 24 7 it's pretty easy to guarantee the drops i would say i managed to get about 95 percent of the drops that i was of the kills i was doing so that was pretty good but i did go pretty dry in between this of course i then went continued to do a few duos with a couple of other people um, just because it was good money and it was a little bit of fun and to mix it up as well from always being in a mass and sort of just despite the fact you're getting every kill so you've got a pet chance in every kill you don't actually get any drops well in fact i managed to pick up three dry gores in loot share which wasn't too bad over 1400 kc roughly so i guess that was one every sort of four or five hundred kills when i did get the pet at pretty much 2.1 k kc i was pretty happy um nice to finish it off but um, i didn't actually mind doing it it was it was generally pretty pretty fun quite chill and yeah basically i could just apply supreme dupes and get kills i was one thing i was surprised about is the fact that perfect chickens also work like pets and the fact that whoever does the most dps gets them so i ended up with quite a few of those i think i had about 14 15 uh, left over the drop rate for Calfoot king is one in 2000 with a threshold every 400 kills so by the time i got it i'd hit five thresholds so most people would consider this unlucky um considering that by this point i ha had a drop rate of like one in 400 or so so it wasn't too bad so whilst in the midst of doing Calvert King, I was also doing Calvert Queen. Now, this is pretty much a semi-AFK boss, which I did mostly watching films. Um, it's not very nice. It does hit quite high and consistently. And you, there's lots of switching as well because of the two phases. Uh, I started off by just sort of re being really AFK and just literally tagging kills of a friend of mine for about 200 kills, at which point I decided that wasn't really worth it and I should just get the kills myself. So I then went on to do another sort of 220 kills and ended up picking up the pet on 423 kill count, which was pretty incredible. Um, this is the first boss that I've really lucked out on. Um, it's a pretty horrible one, as I've said before. And so I was super hyped to get this one really quickly. Again, the drop rate on this one is one in two and a half thousand with a drop rate, uh, with a threshold even of w one in five every 500 kills. So I didn't even reach the first threshold. So that's pretty lucky. On to QBD then. So I did around 800 QBD kills almost straight after I did my DK's pets. Uh, it was probably about eight to six to eight weeks ago. Um, however, I kind of burnt out after this. I reached about 1000 kills and then got really sick of it. Now, I wasn't actually that dry compared to the drop rate, but it's a long, like, annoying boss to build up KC on. Uh, however, it being, it is good money, and it's like 8 to, I think it's about 8 mil an hour. Most of the time, I was fairly try-hard as to maintain good efficiency, and I kind of experimented between using mage and range, depending on what auras I had up, and also just to mix it up and give it a bit of variety, especially if I was doing longer sessions. After I hit about 1,000 kills, as I said, and burnt out, I then proceeded just to do sort of one-hour trips here and there, um, just sort of trying to keep the KC ticking over, but I was pretty fed up with it at this point until the other day, about four days ago, I think, when I was given a Reaper task, and I thought, oh yeah, I'll do it, but it's only seven kills, so I won't really bother turning my recorder on, and lo and behold, after having not turned my recorder on for the seven kills, I got the pet, which I was definitely happy about, like, if I had to choose between having my recorder on and waiting, like, another 500 kills, or just getting the pet there, and then, well, I know exactly what I'd choose. But yeah, I was in TS with a friend of mine, and I'm glad I, neither of us have my reaction, to be honest, because I pretty much screamed out, and I just sat there, like, wow. So I got it on 1,155 kills, and the drop rate is 1 in 2,500 uh, 2, with uh, 500 threshold. So I had a chance of about 3 in 2, 5,000, or 1 in 8, 3, 3 to get it. So still pretty damn lucky. So finally, on to Mole. Now, I started this four days ago with around 200 hard mode kills and 100 normal mode. And I had that from helping basically a few friends with their either their IFB, KC, or just the odd mass that I saw here and there that I thought, yeah, that would be good to get some fast KC at whilst AFKing. 
So on Friday I went solo prepared for a big sitting. I got up to about 400 hard mode kills and with the 100 normal mode that then put me to the first threshold which meant that at this point I had a drop rate of 1 in 250. So then on Saturday I sort of thought oh well I'll do a couple more hours and according to most of my friends like you can once you get above 500 KC it's fairly quick then to get the pet and this is pretty much where it went downhill from there. I one thing I've learned from this is never set your expectations too high, especially don't really take into account drop rates. They pretty much mean nothing. It's luck. I finished Saturday with around 650 hard mode KC, getting pretty salty at this point about the fact that I'd been there for the whole day, made no money, and having had a drop rate of 1 in 250 for the entire day and having done 250 kills, I was pretty salty. Now the plan was also to start doing kiln on Sunday and throughout Monday, but this never occurred. So I spent the entirety of Sunday and most of my Monday up until about 4 p.m. getting more mole KC and I ended up finishing it at 1,100 KC. Towards the end of this, I went pretty super try hard trying to just get as many kills as I could. Um, I even started doing a few record attempts just to see if I, how quick I could make kills and also perfected just standard kills throughout um, working out a really good rotation. I even resorted to using auras like Berserker and getting dummies out to try and speed things up, which in the end I guess did pay off because in an intermediate kill of trying records, I finally got the pet. I'd like to sh give a quick shout out to Jasmine, Ammer and Brad C who put up with a very salty Julius on Sunday and Monday morning and thanks as well to Sam, T set in game and Ammer again for coming to help with about 50 to 70 kills. So this concludes this episode of Progress to Insane Final Boss. Now this leaves me with only 8 pets to go, which is really good. Uh, the main two being Kiln and Corp, and then just the God Wars 2 pets. Normally at this point there would be a price check of all the loot that I currently have in the tab. However, I actually ended up selling it for a whopping 1,581 mil. So 812 mil from the items in the tab. And then the rest was cash that came from Spider Legs and the God Wars 2 splits that I received. The reason for this was the fact that I've actually bought a green party hat which I had a long time ago and I was really keen to get back. However the price of it kept rising faster than I was able to make the money so I ended up just borrowing some money, buying it to stop it increasing anymore and getting further out of reach and then I will spend the rest of my series of Insane Final Boss get, getting the money to pay back so it shouldn't take too long. So it's probably going to end up being a pretty monster episode so really appreciate uh, you guys for watching and do give it a like and subscribe for more content as always and uh, let me know in the comments if you like this larger sort of style of progress video or you prefer the shorter and uh, more succinct video.